In January 2021, Romania passed the first law in Europe to combat hate speech against the Roma, the country's largest ethnic minority. Why was the law necessary? Această lege sancționează, dacă vreți, inumanul ființei umane. Atunci când ne pierdem rațiunea, oamenii de fapt nu mai sunt oameni. We talked to Daniel Vasile, a former member of parliament who spearheaded this law to combat anti-Roma hate speech. Și există asemenea manifestări de ură care sunt fundamentate pe această percepție, pe percepția uh, legată de faptul că uh, romii, de fapt, nu sunt ființe umane. Ai nevoie de un mecanism juridic care să apere acest drept fundamental, și anume dreptul la viață. Living standards in Romania have been rising rapidly in recent years with some of the highest economic growth rates in the European Union. But many Roma people continue to face social and economic exclusion, as well as discrimination. Lack of infrastructure brings bad education, and bad education brings bad jobs, or without no jobs, and so on. If you go to a Roma community, uh, even today, you will understand what it is, because there ends resources. You can see roads is ending, electricity is ending, uh, I don't know, water is ending, all the resources are ending, because well, that's the mentality. I mean, this is how they live forever. Why would we do that uh, differently? Ciprian Nicola is a human rights defender who has devoted much of his life to changing the narrative about Roma people. Basically, Roma were uh, uh, slaves in 14th century in Romania, uh, and uh, that's the history of Roma for the next uh, 500 years. We've been slaves for 500 years, and nothing else. Alina Sherban is an actor and the first Roma woman ever in Romania to earn a claim as a theater and film director. Dată fiind concepția majorității și dacă trăiești într-o colectivitate, este practic imposibil ca un sentiment anti-țigănesc să nu iasă la suprafață. And when hate speech does come out, it can escalate into discrimination, hostility and violence. Suspected of shoplifting because she's a Roma, Andrea Dragomir was beaten by security guards at a supermarket. But surveillance cameras cleared her of wrongdoing and documented the abuse. Dar a venit pasnic cu șeful de la pasnic, foarte revoltat, spunând că eu am furat. După ce a urmat un rând de jigniri foarte urâte la adresa mea, spunând că eu sunt de etnie romă și că stigancă și că tigani fură. A urmat agresiunea după aceea, a urmat loviturile. Atunci am spus că este nevoie de calificarea acestor acte care au ca bază, ca fundament, rasismul și ura împotriva romilor, reglementarea și sancționarea acestor fapte ca fiind infracțiuni. 
But can laws alone uproot such deep-lying prejudices? Most people believe that you also need education and dialogue between the communities to bring about more fundamental change. You've been educated in a way that you don't even know that you are racist. That's the problem. When I told you, hey, Tigane, what actually I'm telling you? And I'm not saying that you should be uh, blamed or uh, uh, convicted for that. What I'm saying is that we, first of all, need to be educated. Warnings about the high levels of hate speech demonizing Roma people have been issued by United Nations rights experts. They've also called for more education about the Romani genocide, when close to half a million Roma people were killed. Preventing a repetition of the tragedies of World War II is on many people's minds these days. Legislation, dialogue, education, and hope will all be needed. <laughs>